What up, YouTube subscribers? This your boy, Open Mind. I have an interesting topic on this video. I want to call out some hypocrisy. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. I want to call out some hypocrisies in the YouTube community. And I, I won't call it the YouTube community. I said that wrong. I want to call it the internet community. You know, just logging into the internet, or I should say the Oasis, if anybody who's seen the movie Ready Player One. When you log into the Oasis, I want to point out your hypocrisy. <clears throat> so let's get into it. If you notice, a lot of YouTube YouTubers, black and white, male and female, left ring, white wing, black power fist to the to the white nationalists, um, you know, what have you? Every every group, every sector, every clique. If you just happen to come across some of these videos, <clears throat> you could put them all in the same box of hypocrisy. So I'm not attacking Black Lives Matter. I'm not attacking the left wing, the right wing, black people, white people, males, females, gay, straight. I'm not attacking any ideology. I'm pointing out a hypocrisy in each and every one of y'all, all of y'all who have this gripe about what YouTube is doing. And also, I'm not defending YouTube. By no means am I defending them, taking their side, not being paid by them to say what I'm about to say. I'm just pointing out their hypocrisies as much as your hypocrisies. Because y'all are all hypocrites at the end of the day. Now let's get into it. What is the hypocrisy that I'm talking about? Well, I need to jump into it. <laughs> Quit playing with y'all, get into it. People complaining on YouTube that YouTube is demonetizing channels for, you know, their controversial, or air quote, air quote, controversial words and videos and allowing other mainstream channels to come in and do the same, if not worse, type of videos and words and commentary on their YouTube channels because they're big corporations and you know YouTube and their hypocrisy picks and chooses who gets to talk shit and not get demonetized and who gets demonetized. That's YouTube that's YouTube's hypocrisy and then that's YouTube's hypocrisy right there. YouTube picks and chooses who they demonetize and who they allow to stay monetized and some of them channels be some of the independent YouTubers be saying some of the same shit or even it's not as bad as some of the mainstream channels who are now on YouTube from the mainstream TV shows and talk shows and just mainstream people in the mainstream have YouTube channels but are backed by corporations that are in the ads that you see in a video and they got a contract with YouTube so YouTube lets that channel stay and spew the bullshit they spew whether they cussing saying cuss words using the n-word being offensive to gay people uh all type of offensive content that violates youtube's you know uh policy uh, privacy rights and, and disclaimers and you know stuff like that terms of agreement they let these mainstreamers get away with it the mainstream people can come on youtube and get away with shit while the independent youtubers who've been living off of youtube for years are now getting demonetized and have to find another source of income Okay, and what's hypocritical about the YouTuber? Okay, the nuance in y'all's videos is YouTube is hypocrite. YouTube has sold out to the people with money who got lawyers to back them and they get to do what they want to do. That's hypocrite. That's, that's hypocritical of YouTube. It is. I'm not saying it's not. How hypocrite? But how, what makes you a hypocrite? Here's what makes you the same hypocrite. You would sell out too, because everybody has a price. You would sell out in your own way. First of all, if you won't have a job where you go punch a clock and put some hours in somewhere, or you don't own a business 
where you get up and work that business. And I'm not talking about YouTube as a business. I'm talking about something that's not internet based or it is internet based, but you still have to get up and do the work, make the phone calls, get in your car, make the drive, go to the post office, send the items out. Whatever it is you're doing that's a business and you're not working a job, you have to work that business. And instead of working that business, you bumping your gums on YouTube every day, all day, four or five times, four, five, six, seven videos a day, which out, which the whole day is gone. So you can't tell me you got a job if you're on YouTube all day, every day, constantly making YouTube videos, constantly editing videos, constantly doing live streams, four, four live streams a day for, for five days a week. Each live stream costs is, is normally probably two, three hours a piece, three, three hours you know, at least, and you do them back to back to back every day for five days straight. If, if, if you're doing four live streams in one day and they're three hours a piece, that's 12 hours past right there. You couldn't have gone, you couldn't have logged out and went back to your job that you say that you got. You don't have a job. These three and four live streams a day are pushed out because so you want one group to get, get on the super chat and donate because you know everybody's not going to donate alright shut that live stream down make another live stream where a new group of people who probably off work now and able to catch this live stream donate super chat donate super chat alright drop that live stream do another live stream now the, now the next shift of people are off work and probably are able to watch your YouTube channel make another three hours live stream Super chat, super chat, super chat, donate. And then the wee hours of the night, you do another live stream. Where you catch the people getting up, getting ready to work the night shift. Or they just up at night, supposed to be asleep, and catch you. Live stream, super chat, super chat, super chat, donations. You don't have a job. That's the point I'm making. You don't have a job. You depend on YouTube. You depend on the internet to make a buck and you forgot that before there, that you had this type of access and internet skill, you still punched the clock somewhere. You forgot that you still did a job at a company somewhere. Whether you're working at a factory, whether you're working at a call center, whether you're working at, in, in retail, whether you're working in fast food, whether you're working in packaging, whatever you're doing. Before you had YouTube, social media, you had jobs and companies that you work for that are still in existence to this day because no matter what the internet does there are things in the real world that don't consist of internet there are jobs that don't require the internet to do the job it requires your hands-on or your mind either your manual labor to do the job or just your mind and knowledge to do the job but not everything is internet based in the world so what am I saying I'm calling out your hypocrisy, YouTuber, because you would sell out too. If the right motherfucker was paying you the right amount of money with the freedom to say whatever the fuck you want to say and do whatever the fuck you want to do, just like the mainstream YouTubers who came and just took hijacked YouTube basically, but they got the corporate people backing them. If somebody in that corporation called you on YouTube, you independent YouTuber. They called you and said, hey, we like your channel. We like the message you putting out. Even though it violates YouTube's policy, we're gonna pay you such and such thousand dollar two year contract to put out content on YouTube. You would sell out. Not that that's bad or good. I don't know your financial situation to tell you that you're selling out or you're, you, you, um, you ain't real or whatever the fuck because you took a check from a corporation to do what you've been doing independently off grassroots. I couldn't call you a sellout because I don't know your circumstances. But I could call you a hypocrite by telling, you say YouTube is a hypocrite because they sold out to the corporations and the advertisers who come on the channel and want to pick and choose the, the faces and the names that they want to, to be controversial why everybody else got to shut the fuck up because y'all ain't got no money and and we the corporation right that's how things work yes it sucks i disagree with it too but you the same way it's like bill burr said bill burr said some real shit on one of his little interviews 
He was coming down on poor people and broke people. Where it may it may seem insensitive because I'm not as I'm not a rich person myself. I could have took offense to it, but I'm need to take offense to it because it's true. There's some truth to it. it. Doesn't apply to me, but there is some truth to what he said. Bill Burr said that broke the, the, the broke guy has an issue with the guy with money, saying that guy with money ain't shit or that guy with money would turn his back. He said somebody gave you some fucking money, you do the same thing. Only difference is you're mad at him or her because they got they in that position and you're not. Because if you was in that position, you do the same thing. Most people, as he said, most people, not all, most people, if they were plucked out of a a, a, a bad situation financially and not in a good situation financially, usually they turn their fucking backs and act like jackasses and assholes and get spoiled and all of the, the things that we put upon privileged people because privileged people do have a spoiled mentality. Yes, they do. And they kind of forget where they come from. The point Bill Burr was making is most people forget where they come from when they get somewhere. Not all. Some people do remember where they come from. That's why we have the philanthropists that we have out here. People who have millions of dollars and still put themselves back into the community, the bad areas, and try to help people. But most people who are privileged, they got money, don't give a fuck about nobody else. What am I saying? What I'm saying is a lot of y'all asses will sell out too because the right price make you shut the fuck up and do what you're told. Especially if you've been independent, living off grassroots, donations and super chats and, and whatever ad revenue you can, you can scuffle together off the, the, the commercials that play on your channel combined that's your, that's that's paying your rent you know what i'm saying that's paying your car note if you got a car note that's keeping money in your pocket helping you buy new equipment it's a pretty decent income to sit on your ass and do nothing but play around on a microphone and on your computer editing videos it's a pretty good decent income back in the day on youtube now people getting demonetized Oh shit, I can't make money on YouTube no more. YouTube sucks. I'm leaving YouTube. I'm going to another platform where I can make some money. Another platform can get taken over just like YouTube because that platform in of itself has a price. Just like you got a fucking price. You, it's the same. I, I, I don't understand that both of y'all hip hop, hip, the hypocrites. YouTube is hypocrites. YouTube creators are hypocrites. So, what the fuck? so I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to say to y'all what Bill Burr says to the person who has an issue with the rich person. Are you mad because you're not in the position that you that the other con that the other mainstream content creators are in that they able to come on YouTube, say the shit that they say, spew the bullshit they spew, whether it's propaganda or whether it's not propaganda, they can be controversial on YouTube and not get demonetized for it. Are you mad because they're there and you're not there? Because it's hypocrisy. Because if it was you and somebody called you, the YouTuber, and gave you a contract to continue doing the same thing you've been doing all this time, except they, they're going to sponsor you now. They're going to back you financially now. They're not telling you you can't say, you can't change this. The contract specifically says the same contract that the mainstream people who have come on YouTube and taken over. The contract is this. We're just gonna pay you to do what you've been doing all this time independently. You're gonna fucking sell out. You're going to. You're not gonna say, no, I don't want that million dollar contract. I wanna keep getting my super chats and my donations and my grassroots because my followers have been good to me and these little $5 donations and $2 donations and super chats that they give me is good and I don't want to sell out. You fuck, you full of shit. Kiss my ass if you think, if you think I believe you wouldn't fucking do that. You've been on, let's say you've been on YouTube independently for, for 10 years. And all of a sudden YouTube start the shit they start now, right? Now your money going, now your money going bad. Now your money getting low from YouTube. So low to the point where it's pointless, Steve. You, you might have made $200 for the month. That's nothing to you. It's like I'm used to making two thousand. I'm used to making three or four thousand dollars off YouTube. Now I'm two hundred dollars is bullshit. It's a waste of my time, right? Let's say that's you. 
And then a YouTube advertiser or an advertiser that's that's a, an affiliate of YouTube comes to you, offers you a million dollars, hundred thousand dollar contract, whatever, fifty thousand dollar contract, whatever, to not get your channel shut down. Not only do your channel not get shut down, you get fifty thousand dollars cash in your pocket, lump sum. Plus, you get a percentage of the ad revenue that plays on your channel. Continue doing the same thing you've been doing before we came to you and called you for this contract. We just like your content. We want to pay you $50,000 and sponsor you to help promote some of our, our stuff while as well doing the same thing you're doing. Keep, keep up the good work. We love your content. You would sign that contract and kiss my ass if you're telling me you won't. Fuck you. Bullshit. You would sign it. So how are you upset that YouTube has, air quote, sold itself out to certain mainstreams who given them the money when your broke ass is making money off of YouTube? You're not paying YouTube. These advertisers are paying YouTube. And yes, they're hypocrites. Here's the hypocrites. I believe YouTube knows that they're being hypocritical. But it's a dollar. It's, it's about the dollar at the end of the day. And if you were in YouTube's shoes, you would do the same thing because the money pays you to do that. They're, act, they're essentially paying for the position that they're in. These advertisers and these corporations with big money. They're paying for their position. I'm not taking up for them. I'm just pointing out that what's, what, what happens and what's going on and the hypocrisies behind it. What are y'all bitching about? Okay, shut your YouTube channel down. Go to another platform. That platform, especially if it's a startup platform, waiting to get sponsored by a big corporation just like YouTube was. In other words, you can't get away. When you log into the Oasis, the Oasis is a place where everybody can freely do what they want to do, internet, oasis, whatever, Ready Player One movie, same thing. The oasis is a place where everybody can invent, be whatever they want to be, invent whatever they want to invent that's, that's conducive to the cyber world. So if you're so good at this, why don't you create a platform where everybody can get money monetized, say what the fuck they want to say, and everything that you bitch about. You've been using this fucking platform for 10, 15 years. See, I'm a new YouTuber. I'm still fairly new to this. But a lot of y'all have been on this platform for 10, 12 fucking years. 12, 15 fucking years. You haven't learned how to create your own fucking platform, call it MeTube, Call it whatever the fuck you want to call it, but the best way to beat Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and all the places that you say want to censor you, want to censor your First Amendment rights, create an app, a platform that people can create content on, make their money, keep it in their pocket, and so on and so forth. This is the very thing you're bitching about. If you're not good yourself, you the complainer, if you're not gonna create a platform, promote it and build it up and compete with YouTube, with Facebook, with Twitter, you can't expect people to give a fuck. I heard some YouTubers say, see, my fans are gonna follow me over to my platform and YouTube's just gonna die. YouTube's not gonna die. Here's why YouTube's not gonna die. Because YouTube is free to the viewer. As long as the viewer does not have to pay to use the service, they're going to use the service. If you think that because you shut your channel down, and you're no longer on YouTube, that all your subscribers are going to just follow you blindly to wherever platform you go to and not watch YouTube no more, you are fucking delusional. And you are, you are not only are you delusional, you're narcissistic, self-centered, and can't see the forest for the trees. YouTube is free for the viewer. It's free. Unless you choose to donate to somebody, clicking on the video costs you no money. It costs you nothing. 
So why do you think that all of your YouTube subscribers are gonna just come to the platform that you've moved to? And not only do they have to come to that platform, they got to pay you to watch you because you're trying to get yourself off the ground and you're not gonna show them all of the content. You're gonna make certain shit exclusive and certain shit where I let you see a little clip of it, but if you wanna see the whole thing, you gotta be, become a, a subscriber and shit. You, you honestly think all your subscribers is just gonna just go, just, all right, take my money, here, here. That's fucked up what YouTube did to you. Take my money, here, here. You deserve all my money. Bullshit, that's not what's gonna happen. Here's what's gonna happen. Let me tell y'all YouTubers the truth. Because y'all bash YouTube, which I'm not saying y'all wrong in what you said, I'm just saying you're hypocritical. You're 100% correct about YouTube, but what you left out was your own hypocrisy. That's the point I'm making. You're right, YouTube has, has hypocritical, YouTube sold out, all that shit y'all said is right. But here's what you didn't say. Yourself, your own fucking actions, your own hypocrisies, if it was you, you would do it too. YouTube is a, a corporation itself with a multi-million dollar corporation and they sold out and they got multi-million dollars. Your broke ass is gonna sell out. You telling me somebody got multi-million dollars still selling themselves out to the person who's gonna pay them and a broke person is gonna stand on a square. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all fucking full of shit. So here's, here's the, the reality and truth of you shutting your YouTube channel down thinking somebody's about to follow you over to a new platform and pay to watch you. If they can't, if they ain't paying, you ain't gonna let them see everything. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna lose a lot of subscribers. That's what's gonna happen. It's not personal. They don't hate you. They're just not gonna fucking pay, a, pay for a service that they've been getting for free all this time. It's nothing against you. It's not personal. It's, the, here's the viewer. You got to think from the viewer standpoint, not from your narcissistic bank account standpoint, because you refuse to go put a job application somewhere and get a fucking job. You, you, you done got spoiled and used to sitting on your ass, staring at this computer, yelling at a microphone and getting paid to do it, that you forgot how to go out, out into the world and put a job application in and work for somebody. You're just too good for that. That's just beneath you. Okay, fine. Your broke ass going to stay broke. Because everybody's not finna just give you all these fucking donations. People who actually do work a job, did put a job application in, and don't mind working, get a paycheck, and they supposed to give you their fucking money because you two fucked you over. No, fuck that. That's not how it's gonna work. Here's what's gonna happen when you shut your YouTube channel down and go to a new platform that allows you to say what the fuck you wanna say. You're gonna, first of all, charge people a subscription, if anybody that ain't paying can't watch your content. And you only gonna have a select few people paying you monthly for the content that you putting out. You're only gonna have a select few people. And by default, your shit's gonna die. Because if unless you work somewhere and get some income from another place, while simultaneously collecting whatever little donations and subscription monies you have, your, your, your channel's gonna die on that platform. Because that platform is waiting patiently for the right corporation to offer them the same amount of money that YouTube was offered by corporations. It's just gonna happen. Do you think the new platform that you went to, that you've moved to, migrated to, that's a startup now, not as big as YouTube now. You think that, want, that, that, that a phone call made to them behind the scenes, their corporate office, this new platform that you went to, whether it be Patreon, Vizio, with a, with a v, Vimeo, oh, I might be saying it wrong, Vimeo, Vimeo, whatever that video platform, and all the other new platforms that I don't know about yet because I'm not as super tech savvy as most of y'all. I'm not aware of all of the platforms. Do you think that these startup platforms where people have learned coding and used to work for Google and used to work for YouTube, got fired but still no coding, decide to make their own platform startup because they got the knowledge but they don't have the money because they don't have a job anymore. You think that those individuals, those groups who own these secondary platforms 
that's, that's next to YouTube and all the other ones and Facebook and them won't take a check from a corporation that wants to sponsor them. If you think that, you're fucking delusional. And if you think that all your subscribers on YouTube that have been subscribed to you, 100,000, 50,000, a million, however many subscribers you had before your YouTube channel was shut down or before you decided to shut it down and say, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home because YouTube being hypocrites. You think all your subscribers are gonna come and subscribe to you, financially subscribe to you. Because the new platform that you're on requires a subscription from us as your subscribers to watch you because now you gotta start all over from scratch. You need money to keep your channel going. You were making money off of ad revenue and the little super chats and donation that you got, but now they shut your monetization off. No more commercials play on your shit. Now you, you surviving off donations alone. And these donations are manually given by most of your subscribers. They're not automatic debit from their bank account, which is another red flag that a lot of people ain't gonna do. Here's a truth that a lot of y'all need to understand. It's not that people can't afford to donate to you, People just don't want you automatically debiting money out their bank account. It's just the, the, the sheer fact that you don't have no control over the subscription payments, how they're deducted, because the platform itself controls that. But you set it up to where a subscription is required for people to see your content on this new platform. You're gonna lose subscribers because YouTube is free for the viewer. And as long as something is free, people are going to use it. If the viewer can log in without it costing them any money, they're going to use it. Period. That's a truth and reality that a lot of y'all need to understand. You hypocritical YouTubers who are calling YouTube a hypocrite would sell out too because everybody has a price. So I'm not understanding the outrage. Maybe it's because I don't make my money off of YouTube and I really don't, I ain't gonna say I don't have empathy because I'm a, a very empathetic person and sympathetic person to a lot of things. But because I actually have a job that I get up and go to, I don't like the job. I'm not celebrating the fact that, it, that I'm not celebrating it like, yeah, I was the best job in the world. No, I hate the fucking job. With a passion, I'd be glad when I can get the other job I'm trying to get so I can stop working this job I'm working. But it pays the bills. It keeps food in my, it keeps food in my stomach. Keeps my cell phone bill paid. Chump change in my pocket, gas in my car, food in my cabinet. Food in my kid's mouth. We're not rich. Sorry to say, we ain't got a whole lot of money. But we, we work, the jobs we work, make the money we make, do the best we can with what we got. It's frustrating at times, but you know what? We get through it because we black folks and that's just how we be. We just, I grew up like this. So being an adult, it's nothing to me. I'm used to it. I'm well, we're, I'm a pro at struggling. Be glad when I'm done struggling, but you know what? Hey, I ain't complaining. I hate my job just as much as y'all hate YouTube demonetizing you, but I ain't complaining about it. I don't think y'all have ever seen, if you go through, the, uh, go through my archives, you don't hear me bitching about the job I work. I don't even tell you the job I work. Y'all don't even know where I work at. I'm not telling you where the fuck I work at. It's your business, doesn't matter. Just know that I got a job. I ain't asking you for no donation. I ain't begging y'all for no money. It doesn't matter where I work. My bill's paid. If I needed some money, I couldn't ask any of you motherfuckers for it. So it doesn't matter where I work. Just know that I don't like it, I hate it, but I do it because it pays me. Simple. In other words, you're hypocrite YouTubers complaining about YouTube being hypocrites. You're hypocrite. You are too. Just like Bill Burr said, everybody's an asshole, rich and poor. The only difference is the poor guy doesn't have any money, the rich guy does. Being an asshole is not good, it's not okay, it just is what it is. It's just the truth that Bill Burr said in one of his interviews. Everybody's a jackass. There are some 
there are some grunt workers at the factory that are just as much an asshole as the fucking supervisor. But the difference is the supervisor is the supervisor and the grunt is the grunt. Promote the grunt to supervisor and he or she will be just as much as an asshole as the supervisor was before them. The difference is position on the chessboard. That's the only difference. Your position on this internet chessboard. You're in the black squares. This one's in the brown squares. The other one's in the red squares. You're on a chessboard on the internet and you don't like the position you're in. And you can't move because it's not either your turn or you don't have the power in the move to make the move. So you're stuck in your square. That's the reality. I think a lot of y'all need to wake up to the reality and stop trying to guilt trip your subscribers into giving you fucking money because YouTube has shut you down. YouTube is a company like your independent channel is your independent channel. So let me throw some more shit at you that you don't want to hear. People can't come on your channel being disrespectful. People can't come on your channel calling into your channel saying crazy shit, talking greasy to you about your channel because that's your channel. You're not tolerating this. You're not tolerating that. This is my channel. I'm independent. Respect my channel. You have every right to feel that way because it's yours. You created it. It's your creation, your space. People are supposed to respect your space and they should. Okay, YouTube has the same right. YouTube is their creation. They sat into a lab in the computer and came up with an a app called YouTube, a platform. Years and years ago, they got together amongst themselves, created something, called it YouTube, put it out there for us to use it. This is their fucking baby. Whether we like it or not, they created this shit. So they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. Just like you can do whatever the fuck you want to do on your independent channel and the shit that you won't tolerate and if a motherfucker don't like it, you can click off and go somewhere else. That's y'all favorite thing to tell people. You don't like my channel, you can just click off. You don't like what's going on on my channel, you can just click off. You don't like what's going on over here, you can just... Okay, well YouTube could do the same thing. YouTube has that same right to cut you off their fucking platform. This same energy, the same rebuttal, the same condescendence that you have towards people who come to your channel being disrespectful, disagreeing with you, calling you out, holding you accountable. YouTube has the same right because YouTube is their fucking creation, their baby. Just like your channel is your baby, YouTube is their baby. You ain't got to like it. What you can do in, the, in this free market capitalism that we have is you can create a fucking platform and wait to be picked up and sponsored like YouTube got picked up and sponsored. The purpose of them creating YouTube was for somebody to sponsor them in the first place. They started off, probably got a, bank, a, 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 a business loan, right? Paid the business loan off eventually. Now everything they make is profit. That was the business model from jump. You're mad at YouTube for executing their business model that they originally originated in the first place. You don't think that where YouTube is now, that they didn't plan to be here. All of this shit is planned. This isn't a coincidence. They got here, they're here because this is where they want to be. They don't give a fuck about you crying about you them being shut down. And yes, they picking and choosing who they gonna let and who they not gonna let, because it's theirs. They just as biased as you biased. You're a biased YouTuber. You're biased. What you're biased about, I don't know. It doesn't matter, but you're biased nonetheless. It doesn't matter what you're biased about. I don't know you, I don't care. I just know you're biased because being biased is a human fucking trait. It's a human emotion. Bias is, e is an emotion. It's a, it's a form of emotion. You pick and choose who you fuck with and who you don't fuck with. Whether it be financially, friendship, family, dick, pussy, associates, religious, all of that shit. You're fucking biased. You, you, you're biased to something. I don't know what it is. I don't need to know what it is. I just know it is. You're biased. 
So YouTube is biased to the fucking highest bidder. You would be too. You're supposed to be because if you're not trying to make money, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? If you're not trying to make money, what are you doing? Don't get on your YouTube channel and talk about money ain't everything, but then got a super chat button and a fucking Patreon link and a motherfucking uh, PayPal link and all these links to give you some goddamn money. Don't get on your fucking mic talk about it. Money ain't everything. It's not about the money. Don't let money corrupt. Bullshit, man. Y'all fucking full of shit. Hypocrites. YouTube just as much as the motherfuckers on YouTube. Y'all hypocrites. And I'm just pointing out the shit that I see. It's your boy open mind. Dropping truth bomb. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's my advice to the YouTuber. Get a job. Yeah, I know that's cringy. I know it make your side hurt when I say some shit like that. You hear that? Get a job. Literally, put a job application somewhere. Wherever. Doesn't matter. It's none of my business. I don't need to know where. It's none of my business. But fill out a job application, update your resume, send it to somebody's company, get a job interview, tell them why, why the question is that, why should we hire you? Put your suit on or your, or your, or your dress and your heels, your business suit, your business dress. You know what I'm saying? Dress shoes, slacks, button up shirt. Go get a fucking job and do YouTube in your spare time. Do YouTube without being monetized and, and put your links in the description box for donations. And if people truly fuck with you, they'll donate to you randomly, which means you can't depend on the donations as income. They come and they go. But your income, it comes from the job you work or the business that you run. Because not every YouTuber is broke. There are some YouTubers who had money before they started YouTube. They just started a YouTube because they was bored and they had all they got is money and got shit else to do with their time. They got money, they don't need to really work. And they say so they got on YouTube. They can start a business. You got a million dollars in the bank before YouTube, before your channel was shut down, before you even had a channel, you had a million dollars. Start a business. Run the business. Fuck YouTube. Do it for fun. Do YouTube for what YouTube was was what originally given us for entertainment. Just be you on YouTube. Without nobody having to pay you to be you. Because if your primary source of income is YouTube, I can see why you mad. They taking your money away from you. Anybody would be mad. You get fired from your job before you, you realize it. Yes, you would be mad about that. That's why the just, that, that's the old cliche about disgruntled postal workers. Come shoot up the place when they get fired. They're working here 12 years. You fire me. They want to shoot everybody up. I understand why you're mad. They're fucking with your money. Multiple sources of income. Get a job. Have a side hustle. Pay attention to what's going on in your job. If shit's starting to feel funky, stop putting job applications in somewhere else. Start your transition before the shit hits the fan. When you see that every time you come to work, your supervisor's getting on your nerves, your co-worker trying to get you fired. You can see the bullshit coming before it happens. Stop putting job applications in. I don't wanna work no job. I ain't working for nobody. That's uh, beneath me. I don't take no orders from nobody. You, you, you're taking orders from YouTube. And you're gonna take orders from the new platform you move to too. And if that platform starts acting up, and you try to go to another platform, you're gonna take orders from them platform. All platforms have a disclaimer. All platforms have terms of agreement. You're not going to get away from this shit. You can't get away from doing work to make money. You can't get away from it. You either got either to commit suicide and just stop living. Or as long as you're living and you're not disabled, you have to do something to make a buck. Get over it. You can't be lazy all your life. You cannot sit on your ass and expect money to fall into your lap. You can't. That's not how the world works. That's not the way the world works. Here's how the world works. There was a time on this planet which is still prevalent today and relevant today 
if there was a barter system where we had where we traded crops and animals for for goods and services where people got paid in food people got paid with animals and paid with crops or things we made with the crops the barter system trade still had to work you still had to do some work to earn that barter in order to even barter whatever you got you needed to work to maintain it so when you get in the position to trade for it to barter for it it's in good enough condition to be traded for so you got to put in the work in order to maintain what you have so the advantage you try to trade it off for the barter system back in those days it's in good enough condition okay today's day you gotta work to earn a buck you gotta do something for somebody else in order to get compensation for what you did and if all you're doing is running your motherfucking mouth on a microphone which a lot of the shit y'all say is false it's propaganda like a motherfucker. You say I'm giving facts, these are the facts, do your research, and when you do your research, you find out the motherfucker was lying. You either lying or you're misinformed, and we're supposed to pay you for your misinformation. I'm supposed to give my donations to you because you're the realest motherfucker on YouTube. When I do my research, I find out that your your information was slightly off or not, or, or just flat out fucking false. But it's too late because you either the live stream is over, I can't call you on it, or you uploaded the video, I commented under the video to tell you, show you the link, where you were wrong at, and instead of you even, you probably even read the comment. So narcissistic, you didn't even read the fucking comment. If you read the comment, fuck that, you trying to shave, you trying to rain on my parade, just a, block a motherfucker from even telling you. But at the end of the day, y'all don't even want to be corrected. Y'all don't even want to be held accountable for the misinformation that y'all put on y'all channel. Y'all want to be compensated for bullshit. Here's the thing. I already have a, a Netflix subscription that I pay for. All my, everybody in my house uses that same account. I'm already paying a cell phone bill, which includes mine's, hers, and my oldest son on the account, which brings our bill up to almost $200 a month just to have the phone. Just to have the phones. We get unlimited data on, the, on these phones. And they're not the super upgraded versions of the phone. They're the little rinky dink, you know, Galaxy S phone, Samsung Galaxy. And I'm still paying two hours a month just to have that. In order to even log into the Oasis, the internet, I'm paying almost, almost $200 a month. For me, my phone, her phone, and my oldest son's phone. That's a subscription I'm paying for. So, so I gotta pay almost $200 a month to, to log into the Oasis and if anywhere I traverse through the Oasis, I got to pay. That's fine too. I ain't gotta do a motherfucking thing. I can choose to, to uh, consume free stuff and entertain myself just as well than paying you because YouTube shut you down. YouTube shut you down. That's not my responsibility financially to keep you afloat because you didn't do a lateral move properly. You didn't properly lateral yourself. You didn't save up for a rainy day. You got comfortable. You got used to sitting on your ass, yelling at a microphone, staring at a computer screen, editing videos, putting music and in, in, in slides and photos and, and editing and photoshopping. That's a choice you made. And you say, oh, I put in hours. I put in a lot of hours. None of, none of your subscribers asked you to do that. Before you had one subscriber, you was playing on that same fucking computer, yelling at that same microphone. You uploaded videos that you put time and hours in that nobody paid you to do. You uploaded it to, to YouTube to, to give people a little bit, and then you expect them to pay you for more content like that. And if they don't pay you, fuck you. But at the same time, it ain't all about money. 
Subscribe to my channel. Donate to me. But yeah, it ain't all about money. Don't let the money corrupt you. Bullshit, man. You can't have it both ways. You can't call YouTube a hypocrite for selling themselves out and, and doing business with people who give them millions of dollars, commas, commas, and allowing those people on the platform to say whatever they want, do whatever they want, while sh then shutting you down, the person who sat up in their house and played with some videos, played with some, some sound effects, put it on YouTube, and demand people to pay for it. No, that's not how the world works. The world don't work like that. I'm sorry. But yet, if you continue playing on your computer, yelling at a microphone, playing with music and slides, editing your videos and uploading them, and somebody calls you from a corporation saying, hey, I love your content. I love your graphics. I love the things you say. I like how, I like your presence. I want to offer you X amount of dollars provided you sign this contract, keep doing the same thing you've been doing this whole time, you're going to take that money because that's guaranteed money, whereas donations are not guaranteed, nor should you expect them. You should not go on YouTube expecting donations. That's just like a, a, a person who, who gets paid tips, but yet has a salary expecting a tip. Tip me because I said so. You should never work a job that's straight commission. If it's a straight commission job, you're more than likely going to fail at that job. And if you don't, and if you succeed at that job, you succeed it because you've actually alienated yourself. You've pushed away all your friends. Nobody wants to talk to you because you live by the sale. Your income comes as long as you sell. If you don't sell nothing, you broke. Similar to YouTube. Similar to a donation funded thing. If your income is from donations, you're not gonna you're not gonna succeed like that. You need guaranteed income, contracts where the money gonna come whether you do good or bad. The only entity that can survive off of donations is a church. They are protected by laws. I'm not talking about nonprofit organizations. I'm not talking about charities. I'm talking about religious institutions are backed and protected by the laws and the government. They can live off donations because the pastor gets a check from the government outside of the donation because the government recognizes a minister as, a, as an important figure. You got to get certificates and licenses to do that. The license to be a minister comes with a check. So yeah, we bash a lot of our preachers to talk about the Christianity of this and the Christianity is that. The truth of the matter is, here's the truth about preachers. Once they go to, go to school and get ordained and get the certificate and get the license, they register themselves under the government. The government gives them a check every fucking month on top of the donation. So whether they get tithes and offering or not, they got a check from the government because they're ministers. That is, that they, they, you get paid to be a minister. Getting or being an ordained minister to work to, to be ordained means you're getting paid. You don't get knighted with a sword. Don't nobody dip, dip you in no water. Put no oil on your forehead. Ordained is a piece of paper that says you are a minister. Here's your license. You're legal. You can legally preach the word of God. And here's a check to do it. Look it up. On YouTube, there's no license. There's no ordained. You just live by the donation. And you can't live by the donation. The donations start to dwindle. And then you attack your, your subscribers and make them feel bad for not giving you a dollar today. Every day y'all all, y'all do a video. Every fucking day. Sometimes five videos a day. And every day you want somebody to give you a dollar. Seven days in a week. You do four or five videos a day. And there's multiple channels asking for these one dollars. Don't y'all realize one dollar adds up? It's just a dollar, people. It's just a dollar. Y'all ain't gonna miss a dollar. No, I'm not going to miss a dollar. But if I give you a dollar and her a dollar and him a dollar and him a dollar and him a dollar five, six, seven times a day because y'all motherfuckers 
stay on YouTube, five, six, seven videos a day, live stream. All five, six, seven, eight, or nine, or ten of y'all want a dollar a piece each, each live stream. Them dollars add up. People got family, people got life, people got bills. We catch your ass when we catch your ass. It's not personal. You cannot take this personally that people did not follow you over to your new platform and, and, and do a paid subscription to keep watching you because YouTube shut you down where you was getting monetized. Rethink your business model. Do not pass the book on to your subscribers because you didn't properly prepare for YouTube potentially handpicking who they gonna let stay on the platform and be monetized and who they not. That's common sense. Common sense should have told you that shit. YouTube started itself off hoping to be picked up by corporations and advertisers, which that's exactly what the fuck happened. Why the fuck are y'all so surprised that they executed the business model that they started originally? When they created YouTube and invented it, they had a business model. That business model is it's a free service. We'll make our money on the back end through advertising. The advertisers have rolled in to YouTube, pouring in dollars, because it's a free service, any service that's free, people are gonna use it, so the advertisers are gonna push advertisers into your face. That is the business model. Some of those advertisers have talk shows, have TV shows that are just as controversial as your YouTube channel, but they add millions of dollars and they pay for their spot. Your broke ass is making money off of YouTube. You're not paying YouTube anything. So how the fuck do you think you got a leg to stand on to complain to YouTube and say, you shut me down? You're not paying YouTube. And once again, I'll say I'm not, advoca I'm not advocating for YouTube. I'm not taking up for YouTube. I'm calling a spade a spade. I'm sitting from an unbiased place, looking and observing both sides. I'm looking at YouTube, and I'm looking at the YouTube creators. All of y'all are just as much hypocrites. Stop guilting your subscribers into giving you fucking donations. They either gonna donate, or they're not going to donate. But when you cut off access to them because they're not donating, you're going to alienate yourself down to about maybe 100 diehard subscribers. And even some of them going to start to fall away. Because and, and if this is your primary source of income, you won't get a job because you've been spewing on YouTube how you quit your job and went full time on YouTube. You've been spewing that shit for fucking years and now you can no longer survive off the income. So it's not our fault. We supposed to take care of you. We supposed to continue funding your life because you won't get off your ass and go get a job working for somebody. The job does not have to be where you're flipping burgers. God damn it, you've been running your fucking mouth on YouTube for fucking years. You have graphic design skills. You have talkative skills on the microphone. You know how to uh, articulate your points. Put a job application into a radio station. Put a job application into a news station. Put a job application into a broadcast station. You have the skills. You've been doing it on YouTube all the time. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Why are y'all afraid to? Oh, I know what it is. Another thing it is, you've also, not only have you gotten used to and spoiled to sitting on your ass making money just talking to a mic, you also gotten used to saying what the fuck you want to say, and when somebody pay you, you have to shut the fuck up, and there's certain things you can't say, because you're being paid. Well, jackass, freedom of speech doesn't work on the job. Freedom of speech works in the real world where nobody's paying you. Yes, the First Amendment is the First Amendment, but it doesn't apply on the job. Why is it that somebody has to explain this shit to y'all? How old are you people? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? This isn't new. No job. You can't go to McDonald's and flip burgers and talk shit in McDonald's no more than you can on a YouTube platform that creates disclaimers and other uh, policies that restricts you from doing that. How is this, how is YouTube shutting people's channels down, monetizing? They're not turning the channel off, they're just taking the monetization away. How is that any different from McDonald's or a department store that doesn't want to hear your political uh, affiliations, don't care what your religious is, put your uniform shirt on, punch in, do your fucking job, go home. 
It's the same thing. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Again, this isn't a personal attack. This is a reality that y'all need to face. I am pointing out the truth that y'all refuse to face. The truth is, you're fucking lazy. If you have been doing YouTube full time, that means you have left your home outside to, other than to go to the grocery store to buy some groceries, some clothing, or some items. You have, you have not left your residence to go put some time into another place to be compensated for those hours worked. You're sitting at home, wherever that is. If you're living out your car, some of y'all are homeless and y'all YouTube is out your car. You will not get a fucking job. Not because nobody wants to hire you, but because you specifically don't want to take no fucking orders. YouTube's cracking down. You got an attitude. That's a person that don't want to take orders. Stop trying to say they ain't, ain't violating your freedom of speech. That's bullshit. You don't want to take orders. Just like you don't want to take orders from YouTube and you don't want to take orders from a boss. So that's not about monetization. It's about you being a grown ass kid. And you don't want nobody telling you what to do because you think you know every fucking thing. Get your ass broke. People that know everything always broke all the fucking time. How come the know-it-alls ain't got two commas in the bank? You know every goddamn thing. You know everything about everything about everything. You do all the research. You in everybody business. You got the T. You know it all. But you ain't got two commas in the fucking bank that you can draw from. You living from donation to donation. Video to video. Check to check. That's how you live in. Your financial bank account does not show two commas of liquid assets that you can draw from. Yet you know every fucking thing. Can't nobody tell you shit. I know this and I know that and I know this and I know that. The real problem, the real truth to you YouTubers who are whining about YouTube, shutting your monetization off, is that you can't take orders. If you have a problem with authority, you have a problem with somebody telling you what to do that bothers your ego, and this is what happens with people who got big egos. They end up being broke. And if you don't end up being broke, you end up losing a lot of money and a lot of associates and business partners because you think you know everything. Nobody can tell you nothing. You're difficult to work with. All of that. The same thing applies to YouTube. YouTube is basically telling you what to do. You don't want to be told what to do. So you finna go to another platform as if that platform is not going to tell you what to do. I have a, a, a subscription to a lot of different media outlets, Netflix being one of them. The other one is Hulu, Amazon Prime. Which to the point where we've 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 we've, dis, we've turned our cable off. All we have is the internet through the cable. We had cable, we got cable boxes in the house, but we wasn't nobody in this house watches TV. Nobody in our house watches TV. We all watch Netflix, Amazon, and Hulu. We don't watch the cable channels. We don't watch the HBO on the cable channel with the cable box. It's just there. It's a bill we're paying that we're not using. So we downsize. All we need is the internet service from the cable company. And the house phone. The house phone comes with the package. Whether you want it or not, it's there. So we got a house phone and internet. We don't watch the TV, the regular mainstream TV. We watch everything on the internet. I'm paying enough goddamn for subscriptions to use that service. I'm not gonna pay you and 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 you to tell me some bullshit that's not even true. Cause once I do the research, after listening to your video, I find out that your video is bullshit and I've already given you $10 donation that I don't get a refund on. A lot of y'all fucking crazy. You've lost your minds, that's what it is. You've lost your minds, you fucking spoiled. You, you, you've gotten comfortable in these two or three and four thousand dollar YouTube checks you've been getting a month. Now that shit's dwindling and you want us, the subscribers, to, 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 to bail you out when you the one didn't give yourself an out. 
Anytime shit getting funky on a job, you're supposed to put a job application in and start looking for another job. You can feel when shit getting funky. Coworker trying to get you fired, supervisor trying to fire you, getting written up every little bitty thing, nitpicky, micromanaging. When you start to feel that energy, you start putting that job application in somewhere else and start your start your transition. YouTube's the same way. When you saw that your ad revenue check wasn't as much as it was the previous month, three consecutive months, you were supposed to start your transition somewhere else. Whether that be transitioning to get a real job or transitioning to another platform slowly. Instead of last minute, we going over here, bye, and that's it. And everybody's supposed to just follow you over there and give you access to their fucking bank account. You got life fucked up. You got me fucked up. You got your subscribers fucked up. That is not how the world works. It's not. You see boy open mind dropping truth bombs on the YouTube complainers, YouTube comment creators, YouTube commentators who complaining about the, 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 the demonetization. Y'all get a fucking job. You have skills. You do. You have skills. You just refuse to punch a clock. And that's not our fault. That's your fault. That's a that's a personal problem that you need to get fixed. That's your don't this, do not take it personal that everybody didn't follow you over to your new platform. That that's not fair for you to take it personal because it's not hatred. It's a it's business. It's about business. It's not personal. It's business. Just like it's business that you went to another platform because YouTube demonetized you. That's a business move. Okay, your subscribers, same. It's a business move. It's not personal. We don't hate you, but I'm already paying for a subscription here. I'm paying for that over there. I got other bills, and your little $1 a month, $10 a month, $12 a month is another fucking bill I don't want to pay. And if I can't see your, your content because I'm not subscribed financially to the new service, then I'll just go watch some other shit that I'm, I'm already paying for anyway. I have a subscription to Netflix. I can watch any goddamn thing. Amazon Prime. I can watch anything. Hulu. I can watch anything. So if I don't get to see you no more because I won't give you a dollar, I'm already giving my dollars away to somebody else who... I ain't using that much because I'm so busy. Creator bless y'all. Get money. Deuces.